Douglas Strauss, a professional artist here in Colorado Springs. I've been here since 2001. We're creating uh, anamorphic three-dimensional chalk art, which uh, anamorphic means that uh, it's, it's created in such a way that you have to view it from a particular viewpoint for it to look three-dimensional. So, Imagination Celebration and the Gazette um, teamed up with uh, a dozen high school students uh, from surrounding high schools and it's their first time doing this. So oh, some of them do right. have experience working with pastels and chalk, get picture but uh, nobody's done sidewalk and then chalk we'll come back later when it's all done. three dimensional. Well, my, you know, I've been self-employed for about 16 years as an artist painting murals and um, illustration. And this I got into about five years ago. Um, saw the saw a lot of the images floating around the internet like everybody else, and uh, just thought, oh, I could do that. And so I applied up the uh, Denver Larimer uh, La Piazza del Arte, the Denver Street Festival that happens in June each year. And that was my first uh, attempt at it, and it worked out. So I kept doing it ever since. I am Deborah Thornton. I am the curious choreographer of creativity for Imagination Celebration. We are having an outstanding day here at the Pioneers Museum demonstrating the power of creativity because we have high school kids that are part of working with Douglas Rouse and creating a giant um, full the eye mural. There's several murals going on at the same time. And then we have all kinds of families that are creating creations of butterflies all up and down the sidewalk. So there's creativity going on all over the Pioneers Museum Plaza. We had just a few weeks to think about, I mean, to make this happen, and that's one of the things that we pride ourselves on, is being able to jump in and say yes and figure it out. So we talked with a number of art teachers, we talked with all kinds of high school art teachers around the area, and asked them to recommend some of their students, and this is the first time for them to do a project like this, and for them to be able to work with a professional like Douglas Rouse is just outstanding for them. So they were so excited and they actually did a great job of thinking of the ideas. They were part of the brainstorming of what kinds of images would we do that tie in with Dream City. I'm Warren Epstein, the arts and cultural editor of the Gazette and I've been working with the Imagination Celebration and Doug Rouse and creating this wonderful chalk art festival. Chalk it up. I'm working on the chalk art with the kids. I thought I'd be just kind of helping coordinate volunteers and stuff but there's something addictive to <laughs> creating art and I'm just, it's an amazing to be part of it. I, I really feel great. I feel great about the kids showing up. We got really lucky with the weather and I think we're going to create something, really, several things, really, really special that we'll have. You know, these will be temporary drawings here but we'll save them forever. So basically we brainstormed about uh, ideas, uh, what things to come up with. This is, this is for the Gazette's best of. And then there's a particular way it has to be laid out. It has to be stretched in a certain way to be uh, Help you stay over here. To work out. Um, I went ahead and laid them all out and made it pretty much easy for them to just look at the, the grid, grid out the sidewalk, and then just kind of fill in the squares like it is on paper. So. Well, you might hear a little wee bit of the Irish going on in the background there because there's a lot of kissing going on. There's the St. Patty's Day Parade. Um, so you hear the hulu hawa in the background, but um, thousands of people are having fun today, and it's just incredible weather, of course, in March, you never know, um, and people are all up and down the sidewalks drawing and cheering on the cool parade and, and the floats. Do, do, do.